Hello, I am bored, so I'm making another one. Um, it's not in order, which is infuriating, but um, this is genuinely so fucked up that I'm just not going to go through it and sort it out. So, this is all, I believe, legendaries and mythicals and megas of legendaries and mythicals and ultra beasts and etc, etc. Uh, I'm going to go through all of them. It may take uh, a few episodes, but hey, less work for me, am I right? Um, so I'm just going to go through them, and I'm going to rank them based on my opinion. Uh, my opinion may be hypocritical at certain points, to which I say, who cares, right? Uh, if it's an alternate form of a Pokemon that should also be on here, I will try my best to rank them together. So, like, if I did Primal Kyogre, I would then find regular Kyogre and I would put them in the same place. Or I would rank them at the same time, just so you get my opinion on both. But, as it stands, we're just going to go for it. Uh, first off seems to be the Ultra Beasts. So, starting with Nihiligo. It, uh, it's the main, like, antagonist of Sun and Moon, which I've played so much. I know it's not Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which are clearly superior games, but it's the main antagonist of that one, along with Lusamine and, well, I mean, not really Team Skull, but it's there, and it obviously has plot relevance. And so, you see it a lot, you kind of get used to it, you start to ignore that it's a jellyfish hat cape, and you start to see it as, like, a creature. So, it's not too bad, but it is... I know it's an alien, but it is a bit of a weird design. Buzzwall. I love Buzzwall so much. I like. I know that he is stupid. It's a dumb design. But I think people only hate it so much because it's an Ultra Beast. If it wasn't an Ultra Beast, he would be praised. He would be praised. Also, it's shiny looks like the Hulk, and I can't hate that. Uh, but as it stands, Buzz, bu like Buff Mosquito, probably the most dangerous animal on Earth. Feromosa. Uh, same as Buzzwall. Both bug fighting, both incredibly strong, funny looking. It's a cockroach, and it's probably the strongest Ultra Beast that I care to use anyway. But it's just a fun design, you know. It's a very, very slim lady with a very thick cockroach shell, I suppose. And the really long antenna are weird, but it's a very, it fits very neatly into like a circle oval shape. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Zerkatry. He's dumb, but comparing him to something in real life, he does look... He should be a ghost type, really. If he was a ghost type, I'd let him get away with it. But it is dumb. But it is something we're all used to. Like, we all know these plugs with the spindly copper on the outside, and the things that hold it all together. We're all used to it. And I just kind of like him like that. I don't know why. Don't hate me. Celesteela. It's good until you recognize that it has a face. I thought for like a solid two years that it was just a faceless automaton thing, right? And when the Sun and Moon anime pointed out that this thin spindly thing was a neck that led onto a tiny, tiny head, I was horrified and I couldn't bear to look at it the same. Uh, Kartana. Um, Kartana's cool. It's the smallest Ultra Beast, and I think it's really funny the way it just does this in the game. It just floats about. Uh, Steel Grass, not what he should be at all, but uh, the steel makes sense, I guess. But him being based off Origami, that's fun. Guzzlord, his anime voice alone puts him in A tier for me. Poipo. Poipo is actually very cute. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's, it is a Pokemon-looking creature instead of an alien. It's very cute. And it's got two colours I very much like. Naganadal. The way it flies is unnatural and it's not nearly as cute. Nor is it as badass as other Pokemon. Uh, so I think it's a C tier. But the way it like floats back and forth like that in the games. That, that doesn't sit right with me. Stack Attacker. Stack Attacker's name gets it here. That's about it. It's kind of stupid. Blacephalon. I cannot as much as I try. I cannot hate Blacephalon. Like, it's dumb. Oh, it's dumb. It stupid, stripy clown ghost with fire powers? Dumb. None of this screams ghost fire at all. However, Blacephalon is so stupid that I really like the way he looks. So, B tier for Blacephalon. Galarian Zapdos. I like 
the idea of it, but it doesn't look as cool as uh, as I believe the other ones do. Uh, I'm noticing Galarian Articuno. I cannot see it. Give me a second. Do do do. Either I'm skipping over it, or he's just not here. Okay, well, Galarian Zapdos, he's a cool... He's a difference to regular Zapdos. But I don't think he's an incredible improvement. I think they're both about as good as each other. But I do like the colours better. And the wings look less uncomfortable. So, he gets away with that. Galarian Articuno, while not here, I would also put it in B tier. The idea that it has psychic powers and that it acts like it's freezing people, very cool. Uh, does it look better than Articuno? Articuno is probably the best looking regular Galarian, not Galarian, Cantonian legendary bird. So, I think Articuno is already pretty cool, and Galarian Articuno is cool in a different way, but again, I think they're about neutral, so I'd put it in B tier if it were here. Galarian Moltres, significant, significant improvement over regular Moltres. It, like... The, I know it's darkness and not flames, but the fiery fucking wings and tail and head, way cooler. The color scheme, way cooler. The beak is even cooler. The eyes, cooler. Everything about it is better in every way. And I take this over this every day. I know I said I was going to go through them and rank them, so Articuno, A tier. The only one of them that looks like an actual bird. He's natural. He's flowy. Uh, Ice type's one of my favorite, so he goes here. I love the tail. Zapdos, D tier. Really thin beak, really odd, pointy, long feet, and the wings are obviously a bit weird, but I don't hate it. I do think it's just the worst of the three. Moltres. I've come to accept that it looks stupid. The fire's cool in the 2D sprites, but 3D model Moltres, it just looks a bit too plump. It does look just like a big chicken. I don't like it. It's not nearly as flowy as Articuno is, even though it has fire. And at least it's not as stiff as Zapdos. Okay, here we have Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X is C tier for me. I know they lent into the whole fighting thing, so he got more muscular, he got more defined shapes on him, but it's not, you know, it's not crazy. It's not as cool as regular Mewtwo in my eyes. Uh, Mega Mewtwo Y, I like it. I think it's a. I don't think it's a direct downgrade to Mewtwo. I just think it it fails to live up to what Mewtwo is. Mewtwo still looks like the more powerful psychic out of these two. It still looks cooler than both of them. I think Mewtwo is just a really good example of what a legendary should be. Uh, and Mega Mewtwo Y doesn't live up to it, but I still like it. It's still a fun design. Uh, the tail on the head instead of the ass, bit odd, but I know everyone's brought that up before. But I do like, I'd like Y over X, but regular Mewtwo itself is an S tier. You can't hate Mewtwo, right? You can't hate him. You can't hate him, because if you look at him, he's got subtle colours, but he still stands out. He looks well designed, the tail is the right length. And yeah, I know the bulbous fingers might throw you off, but it's psychic type and they tend to do that weirdly. Uh, but I think otherwise, it doesn't look like any specific animal, indicating that it is a test tube baby. And the lore is so cool, the Pokemon mansion, everything, and Mewtwo is just... I think it's probably one of the best legendaries that they can ever make. Just total. Uh, I think this is Megalatios? Either way, they're both going in D tier because the fact that they're both purple is awful and I hate it. Uh, really quickly, let me find... Okay. Lati... I actually don't remember which is which. I'm pretty sure this is Latios and this is Latias. I just prefer blue over red. I prefer the more serious look over the more joyous look and the movie. Need I say more? Probably, but that's just my opinion. Primal Kyogre. Primal Kyogre is... Sick. I love for both the primals. I love the yellow glow they added to them. I think, yes, it does not look that much different than regular Kyogre. In fact, it looks exactly the same, but it's got yellow on it. But that yellow highlighting does a lot. Regular Kyogre is also an A tier because I will, uh, my first game was Pokemon Sapphire, and I think Kyogre is fucking sick. And I don't want to explain it anymore. Primal Groudon, um, 
I mean, they finally made Groudon the fire type it should have been, but... I mean, it's cool. It's cool, don't get me wrong. But I think, unlike with Kyogre, you know, filling in the eyes with the yellow highlights and filling it in all up here... I don't think it worked quite as well. Groudon, though. Groudon's an A tier. You can't. Kyogre and Groudon, you can't hate them. They're well designed. I think they're the most iconic haters of each other in all of Pokemon that I can remember off the top of my head. But since I'm, I'm a Gen 3 person, these two, their rivalry is so cool to me and I can't get enough of it. Also, the black with the yellow eye. That's what was good. Them changing it didn't work so well here. Mega Rayquaza, S tier. Regular Rayquaza, S tier. Just up there with Mewtwo. It's exactly what it should be. It's a giant fucking dragon. It's got a fucking scary mouth. Its teeth are weirdly the color of its gums, which made me feel a bit weird as a child, but it's cool as fuck regardless. Rayquaza is baller. Mega Rayquaza. They took him and they just added all the cool shit they could think of. And here they are. They got a bunch of cool shit on him. He looks sick. Here we have all the forms of Deoxys. I'll do Deoxys first. Deoxys is a B tier. I like him. DNA Pokemon, it explains why his arms are all twindly. Uh, in the movie, uh, he was cool. In Auras, he was cool. The Delta episode, you gotta love that. Him getting hyper beamed and exploded was wicked. I know he didn't do that, but it was fucking wicked and he was part of it, so it counts for me. Attack Deoxys. I just don't like this one. I think it's probably my least favorite of the forms. Uh, Speed Deo uh, I'm going to do Defense Deoxys last. Speed Deoxys, B tier as well. I think it would have been A tier if it just didn't have the one spindly arm on each side. It looks like it's genuinely growing a noodle out of it. Not for me. Defense Deoxys, A tier. I'm much more scared of this one than the rest of them. And the the nice, like, uh, like the strips for arms instead of the spindly wires, I think it works better. So, yeah. Deoxys goes there. I do what I want. Giratina. Now, Giratina, we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do this form first. This one is a classic. Again, it's a classic design. I do think the wings are a bit thin, and the spikes don't make much sense on the wings. Other than that, Giratina. I mean, it's Pokemon Satan. You gotta put respect on Pokemon Satan's name. Origin form. S tier. I love this. It makes. It doesn't look as uncomfortable as the regular one here because the wings, which I don't think these are wings, but they are the same shade, they, are, they have the same spikes on them, so I'm going to call them wings. These look much more applicable to flying than this. And also the snaky, wormy body, I much prefer it to the horse with six legs. So. I think it's an S tier. I personally think it's a really good design. I know people will probably hate on me for putting them that way around, but, you know, get over it. Uh, how far into this are we? 13 minutes. Oh, I'll go for a couple more. Um, Shaman. Where is Hedgehog Shaman? Adorable. It's... I, I don't... Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Gen 4 and 5, I have the least knowledge and experience in. Gen 3, I started with... Gen 6, I've replayed a bunch. Gen 7, I've replayed a lot. Gen 8, uh, well, uh, I got biased from it because it was based off England and, you know, that's where I'm from. And it was just lots of fun. It's lots of fun. Max Raid Dens, I'm still fucking doing those. I don't know why. I haven't got a shiny out of them, but I'm still doing them. Uh, but Gen 4 and 5, I have no idea what the fuck most of it is about. Like, I played them, obviously, but I haven't replayed them as much as other people have. I know they're good games. They're fucking good games, but I have the least experience with them. So as far as I'm concerned, Shaman's a cute hedgehog. Shaman Sky, it's a cute thing. It's cute. It's cute. Does it make me think it's strong? No. Like, if I didn't read a dex entry, as far as I know, I could just kick that thing, you know? It, it doesn't remind me of a legendary. It doesn't look like an altered form of this tiny hedgehog. It just looks like this tiny hedgehog's older brother. So Shaman Sky, cute, but that's about all it's got going for it. All right, the genies, the genies. I am noticing that, oh, there they are, never mind. I forgot that they're split up. Do, 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 uh, all right, so. Fuck, how have I, this is Tornadus 
That's thunderous, that's landerous. How do I forget these things? I told you, I don't know anything about them. Uh, tornadoes. I'm not a big fan of that green. Uh, also, I'm just not a big fan of the design in general. Uh, thunderous. I do like thunderous. I like thunderous. I, I think it looks more like Raiden, like, uh, or Raijin, whatever. It looks more like it than the other two look like whatever they're based off on, which I don't fully know. But I like the blue, I like the balls with the spikes over the weird, like, genuine just tail. Uh, and then we got Landorus, who I despise for reasons I don't want to explain. It's just ugly. Like, the other two are ugly, but he's ugly. Also, his hair is the worst. I just don't have much explanation for it. I don't like the weird tentacle tree penis coming out of its back here. Not a big fan of it. So, uh, D tier for, for fucking Landorus. Aetherian form, though. I will put Aetherian form in B. I like the floating on clouds. Like, it looks like it's got hover skates. I'm alright with that. Uh, and its hair looks slightly less egregious here. Uh, Tornado Aetherian form is D tier. This is bad. The eagle thing, not a big fan of it. So, uh, yeah. Shit tier for this one, uh, and this is pretty stinky. It's not as cool as regular one, uh, Tornadus, Thunderous. It's not as cool as regular Thunderous, but it's not quite these two. So it gets to be in just above stinky tier. Uh, oh, here we go. We have fucking Curum Blank, Curum White. First off, where are they? There they are, Zekrom and Reshiram. I will do them first, and then I'll do Kurem, and then I'll do those two. Reshiram. Reshiram's cool. Reshiram's cool. Uh, I, it's it's a bit of an odd one. It's odd. I think the all-white, obviously all-white was what they were going for, so I don't blame them. But it would look good with better colours on it, and it's shiny it is a disgrace. But it's cool. I think the wings being constantly elevated instead of at, at its side. I think if they were at its side, it might look uncomfortable. But constantly elevated, it looks just as uncomfortable. Zekrom. S tier. Black, all black, much better than all white. Also, electric, better than fire in my opinion. And I like the design. It doesn't look uncomfortable. Its wings are separate from its hands. It's standing strong and tall. Its tail doesn't look like it's burdening it. It's cool. This is good. Qrem. It, it's meant to look unfinished, but that doesn't excuse it looking bad, right? I don't like it that much. But it, the lore behind it, I think it is quite cool. So uh, it gets B tier at least. Uh, Kieran Black, uh oh, we're gonna switch a roo here. Kieran Black is mid, but it's not horrible, it's just mid. A uh, Kieran White. Oh, where do I put this? I'm gonna put it in A for now. But Kieran White is better than Kieran Black. Because here, the wings work better, the tail, I think the tail works better here, and the head. I like this long flowy ponytail coming from Reshiram, as opposed to the spike coming off of Zekrom. So I think this one works better. Uh, here we go, fucking Keldeo. Where is Keldeo here? Here he is, Keldeo. I don't like Keldeo that much. And this one is just slightly better looking. Meloetta! Meloetta! It's kind of stinky. It's just a girl with hair. Pirouette Meloetta. Slightly less bad, but I don't like it that much. Uh, you know what? I'm going to polish off with this. I think this will be the first part. Uh, insult me in the comments. You probably should. I might have made some bad decisions. But for now, this is where we're leaving it. We will continue next time with the next ones. Obviously, why would I not do that? I will probably finish it off. I don't think this will be a three-parter, but yeah, this is my opinion so far. If you hate me, just say it. Uh, don't be afraid. I don't know where you live. I might, but only if I know you personally. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.